What's going on everybody? It's Josh, Project Torture. We're doing a fourth blueprinting tutorial today and I'm gonna fly through this one because we got a lot to cover, okay? One thing though, I just wanna let you guys know, I know I've had a lot of uh, requests for videos. I promise they'll come. We just need to take baby steps right now. You know what I'm talking about? Baby steps, just let it happen, let it happen. All right, let's get started. We're gonna make an, uh, an object. It's gonna be a ball. I've got a little static mesh here called uh, my, my ball because it's mine and it's a ball. And we're gonna add a material to it real quick. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this thing move towards the player. All right, so. Let's create a new material. We're gonna name a ball underscore M for material and jump in and be like, what do we want this thing to do? Cool stuff, right? Right click, type the word time, right click, type the word sign, right click, type in the word bias. Now, plug these together. I know it probably looks a little like, dude, why don't you calm down a little bit, slow down. Just, just put it up like that. You got it, pause the video if you got to. It's just a little pausing thing, pulsing, I apologize, and it looks neat, you know, whatever. It's just, we need to be flashy so we can see our object that's moving towards us. But, now, we can actually double click on the static mesh, and there it is in this tab. And we need to just change that material to what we created. We'll go to the first tab, grab the material, hold it here for a second, and drag it in there, and save it, and check it out. We got our ball, we can drag this little ball in here, and he's a little, uh, little pulsating little thing there, right? He's doing what we need him to do. All right, so let's get started. Um, I usually use 4.6, and now I'm using 4.7 of the Unreal Engine 4 editor, so it is a little different, so bear with me. All right, so we're gonna right-click, create a blueprint class, actor. We're gonna name it Ball, BP. So, we're gonna double-click, and we got our, uh, we're gonna need to add a component, obviously. So let's just jump in, add a component, static mesh, and we're gonna name it Ball. We got all kind of balls happening, and we're gonna go over here to static mesh, and it needs to be the ball that we create. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I, I thought about, I should have thought about all this at first, but um, yeah, my ball. Anyway, we'll do that right here. Here he is, he's doing stuff. For now, that's fine. We're in the viewport. We're gonna jump to the event graph and get started. In 4.7, they have all these events lined up, all these events lined up, some of the ones that you use really like often. Um, so we need the event tick. I'm just gonna drag these two out of the way. Now this event tick, we've talked about it, we've used it before, it fires every tick. So let's just think about it. We want this ball, the blueprint that we're in, to move towards us, the player. Alright, so what do we need to do with the ball? Well, we need to set its location. Set actor location, we'll type it in, so bam, there we go. We're done? No, probably not, because we need a location. It is a vector. Well, we got a few things to do here. First, let's get to this actor's location. Get actor location. Now I want you to control C and control V. And now we have to get our location as a player. So type in get player character. Oh, there it is, there it is. We'll take over here and go to get player character and you'll plug in it to this. So now think about it. We have our actor's location and we have our location. Let's do stuff to him, weird stuff. We need to subtract our, we need to subtract the location of him from us. So vector minus vector. Plug that in the top, plug this guy into the bottom. Normalize this number. Normalize it. Literally type it in the word, normalize it. Okay, so, I need to drag this back. You can drag a little box around and drag it back here. Now, we need, to, we need to bring in the function of this event tick, so we need this to be multiplied by this. So we need a vector, but it needs to be multiplied by a float. Okay, so now we have every second, every second, delta seconds, we're subtracting the distance. By what? Just barely nothing. So we need that to be quicker, more, anything. So just control C and control V that guy and plug it back in here. And this is gonna be the speed. I'm gonna go 200. We're gonna get him going towards us, you know what I'm saying? And now we're pretty much done. All we need to do is we need to take this we created and we need to add it back to the original location. So vector plus <clears throat> vector. And then we're just gonna drag this wire all the way over there and plug this in here. And now, that would be the way it needs to look. He is going to move slowly towards us. Now, you know, it could be you could make a pickup for this. You could make different things. Let's get rid of our static mesh and bring in the ball, BP. Same thing, and let's just see what happens. Let's see if this thing moves towards us. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't mind it. It's a little slow. No big deal. Jump in. You see that number we created was, what, 200? I ain't gonna do it. I'm thinking 500. Yes, sir. Ma'am, I'm not going to get into that again. <laughs> okay, so let's try it one more time. Just make sure he's moving a little quicker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's 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 got some booking to him now, right? Bank. All right. We want to do one more thing, though. I want this thing to be destroyable. Destructible? Whatever. I don't mean as in, like, destructible, but I mean, I want it to have a health variable, and we can shoot it. And if we shoot it enough times, it'll, it'll be destroyed. It's kind of like an enemy, right? So let's go back into our ball BP, and first things first, go back to the viewport. We need to give this thing, like, a sphere that's like a volume. 
that we're actually shooting and saying, hey, now you can do it many different ways, but I'm just going to show you this so you get introduced to volumes. So let's add a component and find a sphere collision. Let's drag it up in the middle of this guy, and we need to try to get it to fit around him. Space bar until we can get it to fit. Now, I'm not going to perfect this for the image because it's just a tutorial, so that's good enough for me. And you can get it as close as you want, and that's great. Now we can scroll down, and its collision is very important. We're going to actually have it ignore everything but block projectiles because that's what we're shooting. And he's going to be like, what the f You know, and he's not going to dig it at all. It's going to be awful. Now, we need to make sure we're generating hit events because that's what blocking is doing because we're going to create an event that says on hit on component hit with the sphere click it and it adds us a new event over here okay so we're going to drag it down here and we just basically need to we want to give this thing some health we're going to go over here to my blueprints right here and we're going to create a variable by clicking right here and it needs to be an integer now an integer is kind of like a float except it's a whole number zero decimals they don't play around with decimals that stuff's for that's this for big boys integers are little boys we're going to name it health we're going to drag in this variable we created by going back in the blueprints and here it is we can bring it in here and there it is we're going to set it well here's the thing if we compile it has in the details panel its own value and i want that value to be 10 okay so this ball that's moving towards us has 10 health we're like we got to kill it every time we shoot it we want to take one health away right so on component hit what happens we need to get the health and it's an integer correct so enter int minus int and plug it into set health now think about what's happening here just think about what's happening. You're taking its health, which is 10, subtracting it by one, and then creating that number nine health again. So when it shoots again, this is nine minus one, which is eight. It's constantly doing that. We like that, that's doing it. But what do we want? If health reaches zero, we wanna get rid of it. So type in, type the equal sign and you'll see integer equal. Yeah, we if it's equal to zero. Now. Here's another type of thing. You can just drag a wire from this and type in the word if, if, and you'll get a branch. And that's basically just a true or false condition. So here's our condition. If health equals zero, if it's false, nothing happens. But if it's true, type in destroy actor. Now, I know we just did a bunch of crud. You guys are like, dude, why? But I mean, like, just basically think about it. He's slowly moving towards us on the event tick and Every time that sphere gets overlapped or blocked or hit by a projectile, it subtracts one health from the 10 that we set it to right here. If it gets to zero, he's gone. You understand? Like he's a goner. He ain't going to last. It's over. So we're going to jump out and we're going to try it out right now. Let's see if we did it. Let's see if we messed it up. He's coming. I'm shooting him. One, two, three. Four. Oh, he's gone. Now, if you paid attention, he, he left a little early, but that's because my balls are bouncing around. <laughs> Will. Uh, well, uh, that was strange. I'm just going to just go ahead and let that go. We're just going <laughs> to call it a day. And I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get back into um, probably Blender a couple more times here soon. And then I want to request videos that you guys have asked for. So. I'm glad to be working with you guys. I hope I can help you with these new tutorials I'm going to pull out. Um, I know this was a little more complicated. Feel free to watch it a few times. And like I said, um, I'll be back soon with more videos. Please like the Facebook page. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.